Hello. It's been a minute, hasn't it? I don't know why this keeps happening. Actually, yes, I do. It's because I've been busy. So very busy. So, um, today, I think, what we're gonna do is make some more of those globes. Because I like them. I enjoy them very much, and I want to make more. Because I want to. And I shouldn't need more reason than that. So I have myself here some logs that I cut down that are perfect for carving into these globes. So let's do that. So I think to start, it would be fun to do an underwater scene, like corals or something. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab the die grinder with my really aggressive burr and we're gonna just do the thing with the stuff. You know what? While we have the die grinder out, before we swap to the, uh, you know, the other thing, you know, what's it called? The rotary tool. There we go. We should do this one too. I think I'm gonna do a waterfall. Falling water. Alrighty, we have roughed in our shapes. So now we can actually come in with the rotary tool and start carving. Hmm. Waterfall is done. Probably doesn't look like much right now, but that's because it's unpainted. So now let us move on to our underwater scene. And I don't know what I'm doing yet. I should probably figure that out before I start carving. Alrighty, we are done. We have our waterfall coming between some cliffs, and we have our coral bed sitting in the middle of some ripply sands. Again, they probably don't look like much at the moment, but paint will do a lot of good things, I think. So, let us uh, begin painting. I think I'm gonna start with the coral. Alrighty guys, they are done. We have our coral bed, and we have our waterfall. 
So, what I need to do now is I need to take something like this and put it around the outside and that way we can get a seal when we make our little mold to pour our resin into because otherwise it'll just seep out and it makes a mess. Now we just need to wait for that to dry. That should be a really good seal. There shouldn't be any leakage. So while we're waiting for that to dry, I think it's time we pour some resin. Alrighty, I think they are dried enough to pour. So let's do that. Alrighty guys, they are both poured. We've got our waterfall clear and our coral bed with some blue. I think it's gonna look good. So I guess I'll be back in three days and we will reassess how these came out. One of the nice aspects of this is it doesn't matter if there's bubbles in this one. <laughs> just because I said something, that means I'm probably gonna get more bubbles in this one. So let's just hope that doesn't happen. They are cured. They are ready to go. If you have any doubt. That's a good sound to hear. So, let us go to the lathe and do lay these things. Excuse the very loud saw behind me. I'm sorry about that. So the first step is just making a cylinder because obviously when we're using a natural log, it's not gonna be uniformly, you know, perfectly cylindrical. So step one is make it so. So now we can come in and start digging in and curving around so that we can make ourselves a globe. Alrighty, so she is ready now to buff. So let's do that. The buffing, I mean. Alrighty, one down, one more to go. All right, round two, let's go. All right, we have achieved cylinder. Uh, this was further down on the log. So I think this one's actually gonna end up being quite a bit bigger, the orb I mean. I don't know how much, but yeah, I think we will actually be able to get a larger orb out of this one, so that's exciting. Anyway though, let us start um, spherifying.
we buff. Alright guys, I know this is probably a shorter video than normal, but they're done. Hey guys, well, here they are. I'm trying to do this quickly because my camera's about to die. I think they came out awesome. I'm really happy, even though most of them got cut away, that I left those little uh, ripples in the sand going all the way out. Cause look at that reflection on there. That is so cool. But this one came out so nice. Love that waterfall. Except something weird happened. Um, I used a different white than I normally do and it discolored inside the resin. So there's like yellow foamies going down, which was not part of the plan, but hey, oh well. Now I know to not use that, that white again, because yeah, it will change color. Sorry, camera died. That all being said, I'm happy with these. They look very good and they are always so much fun to make. And as I said in the last video where I did this, the possibilities are just limitless. Like you can make so many different combinations of environments and globes. And I, I, yeah, this is gonna have to be a recurring series on this channel because they are so much fun to make. Also, uh, totally unintentional. Um, the whole point was that to make ripples in the sand, but look at the texture all the way around. It looks like waves. I like it. It fits the theme even more. And that was not intentional. I wish I could say it was intentional, but it was not. Well, it was intentional, but the outcome was not plants, if that makes sense. I mean, that's kind of a redundant sentence. Anyway, though, I like them. I hope you like them. And that's it. I don't know what else to say. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for this one. So, um, one of the reasons I wanted to make a bunch more of these is because I am running a booth at the Gem and Mineral Show, and I was hoping to bring some to sell. So, these will be for sale very, very soon. I have a few rock-themed ones that I'm going to be making and bringing with because I made a discovery that is freaking awesome. I won't uh, say in detail what it is, but I will say I discovered that if you suspend a cr uh, clear quartz crystal in resin, uh, the whole thing prisms, like filled with rainbow. So we have to do something with that knowledge because it looks amazing. So I don't know when I'm gonna do that, but I'll make sure to record it when I do it. But also, uh, any of these that don't sell at the show will be going online for sale afterward. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> if no one touches these and you want it and you can't come to Billings, uh, hold, hold your fingers in a crossed position because they may still become yours. But yeah, guys, um, that's gonna do it for this one. Let me know which one was your favorite. I think this one was mine. And give me suggestions for more uh, environment globes that we can do in the future. Is that my eye reflected in there? That's creepy. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Stuff and also things. Also the dragon base is gonna happen, I promise. It's just, I am so busy right now, it's insane. I haven't forgotten, it's just, I'm, I'm prioritizing other things right now. But we'll make him a seat soon, I promise. It's coming, I just don't know when, or where, or how, also why.